Well, I must tell you that um, this is very difficult for me, that Michael is my brother. I love him a great deal, but I cannot and I will not be a silent collaborator of his crimes against small, innocent children. And if I remain silent, then I means that I feel the guilt and the humiliation that these children are feeling, and I think it's very wrong. I have seen checks payable to the parents of these children. And I don't know if these children were apparently bought to the parents by Michael or not, but I have seen these checks. And I've seen these checks through my mother. She showed me these checks that Michael had written to these children, and it's for a great amount. And I'm not speaking pennies. The sums are a very, very large amount. And this is my first time talking about it, and I never want to speak about it. I never want to say anything about it. But I think it's sad because I am a victim myself, and I know what it feels like. And these kids are going to be scarred for the rest of their life, and I don't want to see any more innocent small children being affected this way. I love Michael very dearly, but I feel even more sorry for these children because they don't have a life anymore. They don't. Now you stop and you think for one second and you tell me what 35-year-old man is going to take a little boy and stay with him for 30 days and take another boy and stay with him for five days in a room and never leave the